Hey, what's going on, guys? You got a Craftsman or a Briggs and Stratton or MTD with a bad starter solenoid. Well, in this video, I'm going to show y'all how to get in behind there and replace it. First off, to make the job easy on you, remove the gas tank. It's a lot easier if you remove a gas tank. It's got two 10 millimeter bolts, one on each side of the tank. Let's go ahead and get those taken out. All right, guys. We got those two 10 millimeter bolts out. They're right here with the washers. Also, one thing I'd recommend, if your tank on your fuel line, if you have a shut off valve that you've installed for safety, because they don't come from the factory that way, make sure you shut it off so you're not dumping fuel out your line if it, your hose pops off. Make sure you set your tank where if it is full of fuel like this one, then you don't spill it or blow nothing up or catch anything on fire. Let's get this, get this light in here. Let's see what we can show y'all down in there. There's your solenoid right down in there. And there's only one bolt on it that holds it on. And it is right there. And I believe that it is a let's say 11 millimeter or Yep. And there's also one. It's a double sided. So you gotta reach right in here on the back side. Flip the wires up out the way. Right. There's the, the back side to it right in there. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But it's made to the solenoid. From the factory. Alright. So that's the one you gotta take out right there. Let's go ahead and get that removed now. Sorry about that guys. I was wrong on that. It does have a nut on the back side that comes off. It's not made to the to the frame assembly. My mistake. I know some of them they are, some of them are not. And this particular one, it's got your the loop it loops into this op eyelid opening in the frame let me show you here on this new one uh, just crack this thing open also just so y'all know y'all can order this on amazon and it's 9.99 through and it's through amazon's warehouse from Outdoor factory parts. Say so your, you know, Polaris, your Craftsman, your MTD, Husqvarna, your Dix Aarons, as you can see. Standard solenoid on all those models. All right, let me get those wires right there undone. And then I will show y'all what's next. Actually, you know what, here. I'll show y'all in the video. The wires here. Two wires down in there, right there on top. Then you got your starter and your battery wire. This one right here. This one, you can see where my finger's pointing on this stud, right there. That is for your starter coming right there. You know it's. About two foot long, I mean, I'm sorry, 12 inches long, going right there to your starter. This one with the red terminal cap, this one runs all the way back to your battery. And these are ignition wires. Make sure you don't get them mixed up. As you can see on this one, black is on the right, white is on the left. Pretty self explanatory. All right, let's get those pulled off. All right, guys, we got those. Wires pulled off right there, as you can see there. Now, 
we just pop that one out we'll set the new one in place and we'll get right back with you see if we can get it here y'all want I'll leave you on on this one it pops out of that loophole right there in the frame and that little prong right there so it just it loops out and there's on the new one there's the old one there's the new one now we're gonna go ahead we're gonna put this bolt back in place I mean, yes, this can be done without taking the fuel tank off. However, it's a whole lot easier, a whole lot simpler. Just pop that fuel tank off. Makes it so much better. A whole lot easier to get to. I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up real quick. Oh, shit, the fuel tank. That's right, the fuel tank was a, a 10, everything else is 11. The old one, we'll go ahead and toss that for you. Oh, let's see here. Ah, there's the new one mounted in place, fellas. Now we just gotta hook up the wires. I said you're just doing the opposite of what you did. Oh. You're just doing the opposite of what you did, take it off. Sorry about that. Bless the shop light here. Fell over on us. Alright, let me get these wires hooked up. I'll be right back. Alright, guys. Let me get the wires hooked back up in there. As you can see right there on the ceiling, right? Let me get the wires hooked back up. Now we just gotta put the fuel tank and everything back on. And she'll be ready to fire up. And that's it, guys. There's your video on your Craftsman MTDs on how to replace that pain in the butt starter solenoid. I said a lot of people. You get a lot of people, you know, asking questions on, you know, which model is it, which solenoid is it, because there's there's like three different ones, um, but that's the most common one. Some of them is a double bolt hole instead of being that eyelid with that hook some of them's a double bolt but most of them are the eyelid hook one uh, and it's mainly on like your um your 12 and a half your 14s you know and anything below that you know some of them have an eight force but yeah it's mainly on your single cylinders and below anytime you get in a dual you know quad dual cylinder uh then you know it's usually a different uh, bigger model solenoid uh it takes a lot more amps but anyways, all right, well, we're going to get this fuel tank back on here. But there you go, but guys. There's your video on how to replace your starter solenoid on your Briggs & Stratton engines on your Craftsman's, Cup Cadets, Aaron's mowers, Husqvarna's, all your mowers that are small, the small mowers, not tra lawn tractors, that are made by MTD. You know, they're all made by MTD anyways. Anyways, guys, all right, well... Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments. I'd really, truly appreciate it. If y'all give me a thumbs up, please, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I got a lot more how-to videos coming. Uh, check out the channel. There's a lot to already. Y'all have a great day.